Hi everybody, George Donnelly here. So I just want to give you an update on the um, Jeff Borwick, Galtz, Galtz, Chile accountability situation. Now you may remember if you watched my previous video uh, on August 25th, Jeff Borwick contacted me. Okay, I've never contacted him about this. He contacted me to say uh, that he couldn't believe that I thought he was a scammer and a dishonest person. He was, you know outraged whatever so I, I he seemed important to him to convince me of the fact uh, you know convince me that he was not a dishonest person so uh, I said so at first I was kind of like you know like why do, why do you even care what I think why why okay you can go on making your shemata dollar collapse videos and whatever and live a happy life without even having a second thought about me, okay? But for some reason he cared. So I said, okay, all right, let's make a deal, Jeff, okay? You send me everything you have, and now this part is important, everything you have on the Galtz, Galtz, Chile, and passport scams, uh, I consider them to be scams, um, based on the information I have at this time. <clears throat> And I, in return, in consideration for that, will invest my time in getting other information from the other participants in these things and putting it all together in at least one long-form journalistic piece that uh, gives you, Jeff, a fair shake, okay, because I'm all about the truth. Um, that, that's, I'm, I'm not about grinding axes. I'm about the truth. Um, and, uh, and, you know, we'll get to the truth of the matter. Cause really, you know, with a $10 million scam in the, in the libertarian community, I think what everybody deserves is some freaking truth. Okay. Because there's so much bullshit going on libertarian in the libertarian community. Like how are we ever going to achieve a voluntary society? How are we ever going to implement libertarian principles in the real world, uh, beyond, you know, just a few people if we can't get a little bit of transparency in our own community. So <clears throat> I considered the request, my request for all this information to be a little bit ridiculous. Okay. I didn't expect him to agree to it. Um, I wouldn't agree to a request like that. Um, but nor would I so casually uh, agree to invest my time, which I consider valuable in such a large scale endeavor as trying to get to the truth of Galtz Galtz Chile, which is like three times bigger than I thought it was at the time. I mean, this thing is like has scams within scams. And the scam, an interesting piece of information I picked up is the scam could be ongoing. Like there's another scam within a scam that's still going. Anyway. I thought it was a ridiculous request, but at the same time, it's a little bit ridiculous for me to invest my time into something like this. But he agreed to it, and I consider it a valid contract because I'm pr I'm I offered consideration. I offered a return, uh, in ex something in exchange for that. Perhaps equally as ridiculous, at least from my point of view. Well, I I thought uh, a month would be fair. That, that's kind of. The, the deadline that I expected, but uh, within a day, Jeff said, no, 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 there's no need to hold me accountable. I'll provide this information within one to two weeks. Well, just a little over a week later, Jeff contacted me. Okay. I still have not, it's not like I'm out there hounding Jeff, knocking on his door there in Acapulco or wherever he lives. Like Jeff, you know, not, not liking that, that cartoon, uh, you know, where I'm buttoning into his hangout and being like, I'm going to hold you accountable. No. No, no, Jeff's contacting me, okay? He contacted me and he said, well, you know, the deal was that I'm going to provide you with just enough information to convince you that I'm not a scammer. And, and here's these court cases that prove, you, you know, you can look at them in 10 minutes and prove, you know, and I, I was just promoting it, you know, I was just promoting Galt's Galt's Chili. I really had nothing to do with it. I mean, that's just complete bullshit, okay? But, you know... So Jeff got our deal wrong. I don't know. Maybe he was high when we, you know, it wouldn't surprise me at all if he was high when he originally agreed to this because, you know, really only a high person uh, should agree to something as ridiculous as that, you know, but I wasn't high when I agreed to it. So, 
But that's how that's my thirst for truth. That's how thirsty I am for the truth, especially in the libertarian community. But anyway, so um, <clears throat> so Jeff redefined the deal. He said he was going to send me court documents. Oh, he he wanted me to to keep them confidential. I mean, was he freaking asleep about uh, during the part where I'm going to write up what I find? Um, and uh, and that that was it. That that was all he was going to do. He never sent me those court documents, by the way. And I said, look, Jeff, don't waste my time. Okay, send me everything. Send me what we agreed on, or send me nothing. But don't waste my time. So uh, he s sent me nothing, and uh, for my trouble, he's called me a little loser and a little maggot. But I'll have you know, I'm six foot two. I'm not little, okay? And um, uh, Jeff broke our deal, you know? I don't know. I'm leaving the door open in case Jeff, you know, changes his mind. But as far as I'm concerned, this time Jeff Berwick has broken our deal, which, uh, you know, thanks, Jeff. You proved my point for me. You're a dishonest person. You make deals and then you break them when you feel like it. And then you pretend like you didn't make the deal in the first place. I don't know. Is he that stupid? I mean, I have the Facebook chat conversation. Hey, as soon as we got off that chat, I screen capped that thing because I I know people are play like to play games. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so um, that's it. Jeff Berwick broke our deal. He he confirmed for me that um, his uh, that he's a dishonest person. And the most fascinating part about this is that he and others as well throw all the blame on Ken Johnson uh, for the Gulch Gulch Chile situation. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if Ken had uh, a major role to play. I don't know. I haven't verified it yet. I don't know very much about Ken Johnson, though I am in contact with him. But the interesting thing is that he has been sending me information. He's sent me so much information, I haven't had time to process it yet, okay? Um, and not just emails and not just long diatribes, but screenshots, contracts in Spanish, all kinds of things he sent me. So, you know, I just don't understand. What are you hiding, Jeff Berwick? What are you hiding that you're not even going to send me these court cases that you say prove you're not a scammer? And it's all Ken Johnson, but Ken Johnson is sending me all kinds of stuff. You know, now, of course, this could be um, some kind of, uh, I, you know, I, I can't prove the information from Ken Johnson uh, is accurate. I can't prove anything about it. I haven't even had time to read it all. But I don't think I even promised Ken Johnson anything in return for the documents that he's sending me. So bottom line, uh, Jeff Berwick proved me right. Um, he's a dishonest person. He doesn't honor his deals. And, you know, the, I am getting other, other information from other sources. Uh, there could be scams within scams in this thing. And, uh, you know, as, as time allows, I'm going to continue looking into it. Jeff Berwick, if you want to make this right, I'm open to making it right. You know where to contact me. Everybody else, uh, have a great day.